Good afternoon. Um, as you're aware, I think I'm giving a speech to the RSA at uh, 5 o'clock, and I can't let the Governor General's there, so I've got to leave by 4.40, so please excuse that. Obviously, I, I have uh, Bill English with me today to talk about the Government's Hui on the Share Plus concept and to talk about the Government's Share Offer program. Uh, so we'll talk about this and then take any questions you might have on this announcement before I go into the issues for uh, today. You remember at the end of August, the government received the Waitangi Tribunal's interim report, which raised the concept of Shares Plus. Uh, this concept was not clearly defined by the tribunal, but it is the idea that certain Maori interests could be given particular powers in relation to the company, which are above and beyond the rights of other shareholders. This might be things like special financial entitlements or the ability to appoint directors. Cabinet today made three decisions regarding our share sales program, and these steps really move things along quite a lot. First, the government will not implement the Waitangi Tribunal's Shares Plus concept or engage in further negotiations in relation to that concept for the sale of shares in our energy companies. Second, the government will proceed to remove Mighty River Power from the State-Owned Enterprises Act. We will prepare an order in Council for Cabinet and Executive Council to consider and approve next Tuesday. And finally, we will direct officials to keep working towards the sale of up to 49% of shares in Mighty River Power between March and June of 2013. These decisions come after Bill English attended uh, six hui with Māori and direct interest in the water and geothermal resources used by Mighty River Power, Meridian and Genesis. He will give you uh, more details on that shortly. Uh, the consultation was part of our commitment to consult with Māori in good faith and to make informed decisions after hearing uh, their views. From the series of hui and written submissions the government received, it is clear Māori claim a wide range of rights and interests when it comes to water. But our position has always been very clear, and after listening carefully to the submissions at the hui, we heard nothing to change our view. First, in common law, no one owns water. Second, Māori do have rights and interests in water, and these will continue to be addressed through a range of processes such as the treaty settlements, the government's fresh start for a fresh water program, and dialogue with EU leaders. Third, the partial sale of Mighty River Power does not impact on the Crown's ability to recognise Māori's rights and interests in water. Following analysis of the oral submissions made at the hui, along with the written submissions, the government's view is that, the, that no new information has come to light to change our preliminary view, which is that the concept of Shares Plus should not be progressed. The Maori Council and others have indicated that they are likely to take legal action. That's entirely a matter for them. From the government's perspective, it would not be unexpected. I'm confident the decisions we're announcing today will provide a further certainty about our share offer program. They also reaffirm our commitment to offer a minority shareholding in Mighty River Power during the second quarter of 2013, subject to market conditions. In terms of next steps, early in the new year, Mighty River Power will prepare its half-year financial statements for the six-month period 31 December 2012. These statements will be audited and will take about two months after balance date to complete. As the government has previously said, before the offer period commences, New Zealanders will be able to register the interest in purchasing shares. Expressing interest is not a commitment to buy shares and no money will be sought, but it is one way in which New Zealanders will be, will be able to be put at the front of the queue for shares. So now I'll hand over to Bill, we'll take any questions you have on this and then we'll go back to the moment. Thank you, Prime Minister. Uh, today's Cabinet decisions mean we can get on with preparing the MRP offer for the March to June window next year. Uh, in the next few days, I will issue drafting instructions for an order in Council to remove Mighty River Power from the State-Owned Enterprise Act uh, as preparation for proceeding with the sale. Uh, this will be considered by Cabinet uh, next Tuesday for submission to Executive Council that day, means that it, which means that it comes into effect uh, next week. Uh, this follows, of course, a thorough consultation process as the Prime Minister has outlined. 